Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I want to tell you a few things for you to think about before you get lip filler. This is from past experience. It is just my personal opinion. I feel like every time I think about or someone asks me about lip filler, I just want to tell everyone about this. So you can go back to like my first videos. I've always had full lips. Both of my parents have full lips. But the difference is I did not know how to line them correctly. I didn't know the tones of lip liner to use. I didn't know how to overline the right way. I think I could probably have just about the same effect that I have now back then. Now, through the years, you saw me get lip filler, and that was a different trend. I think we all know the trend where everyone's lips look filled, and you didn't even care. I mean, I remember saying to her, it's Chanel is sharpening her claws on the cat scratcher there. So, I remember saying to her, I don't even care if they look filled. I mean, that was the look that I was going for. That was a different time. It's kind of like microbladed brows or something like that. Fast forward to now, when and if I get lip filler, all I want to do is, you've heard people say, hydrate, hydrate. The only thing I want is, I don't have anything on now except for foundation a little bit around my lip. What I'm looking for is just to kind of plump out a little bit, but not beyond most people's lips have wrinkles. So I don't want to plump them out so that they're shiny smooth. I just want to put a little bit of like a soft, not Juvederm or Restylane or anything like that. I think, is it Bellaterra? I cannot even remember what she used on me last time, but just a really soft, you know, um, not bulky lip filler. Before, I always got like Juvederm or I think Restylane, I didn't like that. I think Juvederm was my favorite. Before you do that, I want to line my lips and when I'm doing this, I will tell you how I feel about it. So I've got two lip combos here and I'm gonna do, hmm, let's do this one. I'm gonna do it with not too much of a nude lip liner, but okay, first thing I usually do is get the, I had the City Beauty Lip Plumper clear on my lips, so I want to wipe that off. Okay, this is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in Julia. Lip liner, it is so important. You can achieve better looking lips with the right lip liner than you can with filler because the filler is not going to give you more lip skin. It's only going to fill what you have. And you certainly don't want to go above. You don't want it to, you don't want to fill ab above your lips and you certainly don't want it to migrate there. You only want it within the pink lip skin. A lot of times I'll see people that have thin lips and they'll go get their lips filled too much and it almost narrows them. It might make them stick out further, but it narrows the, think of it like on a flat piece of paper. If you were to draw a woman with the most perfect lips, you wouldn't want them 3D. You would want them to be wider and just to cover more surface area of her face. So that's kind of what you do with a lip liner. Now in the past, even the last time I got them filled very little with the really soft one, I didn't even like it at first. It takes a long time for it to get down to a point that I like because if you have filled your lips up and you have kind of plumped them up all the way to the edge, it makes it very hard to, I don't wanna say overline, and that's the point. If you have your lips filled all the way to the end, you have two choices. You can either line on that line or you have to almost go over the line. Now that definitely happens if you get your vermilion filled. So I never recommend doing that. I think I did it one time and I hated it so bad. 
So you never want to get that little tube that kind of goes around your lips done. But even if you get enough filler put in, it will like plump your lips to the edge and it will give you kind of like a little ridge right there. And you are forced to pick to get them even and pretty looking. You know, do I want to go on the edge or over? You can't do a little bit of both. And I think doing a little bit of both is the key. Another thing is you have to have the right tone of lip liner. You know, I see a lot of people like they love and it does depend on your skin color and your lip color. But like, let me just do a demonstration. Hold on. Hey, I was really trying to find Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. That is one that a lot of people like that just does not work for me. I would much rather use Iconic Nude. I couldn't find it really quick. So I grabbed this one because this is another concept that people do. They go, they think they want a nude lip liner, so they go to light. This is the Cream and Sugar from Marc Jacobs. So I'm going to do half of my lips with this, and then I'll do the other half with the Natasha Denona. Okay, so here we go. So you can see that I still have a little bit of foundation on, which I told you, I think yesterday, that I actually kind of like that. And I am going to go on that line and I'm going to do it kind of like I do the jaw contouring. I want to go a little bit above and a little bit below and just kind of create that depth. So here we go. Same thing with the bottom. like that okay so what is your first impression what did it do it it didn't make my lips does it make my lips look bigger to you now let's do the Natasha Denona I also really prefer a sharpen there are a few roll-ups that I can use I would probably be able to use that one because I could tell it was still waxy but most roll-ups, I can't get as good of a lip line as I can with a Sharpen. These are definitely my favorite. Another thing I want to express to you is find a lip liner that lasts. And I hate to say it, but like MAC lip liners don't really last. Uh, Bobbi Brown, um, Laura Mercier, NYX, or NYX. A lot of those don't last, and what I mean by that is they blend in with your lipsticks. Not only do I not want to change the color of my lipstick, I need that shadow and that outline to stay. One, because it's part of the look. Two, because I don't want to have to take my lip liner with me. I would rather just reapply my lipstick. Here we go with the Natasha Denona, and it's Julia. Okay. And you can see how I'm going right on the edge of that line. So see how you can see it's right on the edge and it is the teeny tiniest bit over. It's going over that. So there you go. You can see the difference that that makes. Let me do the bottom. I did a little bit of that. I did notice that this lip liner after you sharpen it it because I don't like it to be so sharp that it leaves a harsh line I'd like to usually I'll sharpen them and kind of twirl them on my paper towel and this one was breaking so it's kind of soft okay so there you go the different two different sides okay now we're gonna use I brought out here bitch perfect but I'm scared that's not gonna show the concept I want to do so let's start off with creme de nude cream sheen let me make sure I'm getting the true color here. Okay, so let's do, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so let's do, that side. And then let's do this side. Okay. So, do you see the difference? Do you see how much that darker liner 
makes my lips look, not only do they look bigger, this is to me, maybe the, the white side looks better to you, but to me, this side takes the, it extends the color of my lips and it almost makes them look like they're folding back. And that is because I have taken that liner and put it exactly on the right spot. So if you were to have your lips filled too much, it is very, very hard to do that. You are forced almost to either go right on the edge. Well, how can I, I've got this still left here. Okay, say this is your lip line. You're forced to go right on that edge or go over it. Whereas if it's flat like this, you can go right on the edge like that. And that is the difference. So think about that before you get lip filler. I'm not saying I'll never do it again because a lot of times my lips will just get so um, pruney and liney that I just want the hydration. I know that's a buzzword, but it really is what it looks like when your lips have like a lip plumping clear gloss or something like that. So let me take this off. And a lot of times I will go back over just to make sure that I keep that line. So if you were to go back over with this, And this is a very, remember when Yolanda Foster would use the NARS Fantasia with NARS Belle Du Jour, and that was her signature lip? So that is a look. If you want that brightness on the edge of your lip, then that is a look. And I don't know, to me, it doesn't give the same depth or look that I, it's definitely not the look that I want, but you may prefer that. The same thing with like a bright or light pink with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It doesn't give me enough, enough depth. That is why I like the Iconic Nude. So I'm going to wipe these both off. Both of these lip liners last. You'll see. And let's do the entire lip with the I Need a Nude. It will cover that right up. Like that. And see mine this side is a little bit smaller than that side. I have learned too, you can do whatever you want. You can get them to put more over here than they do over here. It might look somewhat good for the first two weeks or so, but it's just, it will migrate back and your lips will look like they did. So I would not go thinking you're going to totally change the shape of your lips. That's like, you know, I do think it's good to take in a photo to give someone like an idea of what you like. And I hope that you'll go to someone that is honest with you and will tell you, you're just not gonna get this because you know, it's, it would be like someone, it's like me. I can want, you know, um, let's see, like uh, if I wanted to do the lash extensions, I can get them, I can go to the best person in the world that does them, but because my eyes still turn down, I'm still not gonna get the look that I want because it's only gonna accent my eyes turning down more. It's just not gonna give me the lifted look like it does for other people. So you have to figure out you know, what you're working with and then go from there. So I'm not gonna use the creme de nude. I'm this time I'm gonna use Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a good one. It's very, if, I don't know if they're still making Spanish Pink from Tom Ford. I had a hard time finding it last time I was trying to link it for you guys. So if you can't get it or you don't want to spend that much money, I think this one is, it might not be the exact same, but it gives the same look. It's kind of like a little bit brighter than my typical nude, but still nude. And then this is the lovely Buxom Celeste. I just want to show you another thing to do. Take this and 
go in the middle and go up at the top. Don't put too much on. You don't want to, it's just a dab. It's just like salt or pepper. It's just gonna make your lip combo better. You don't want it to be like one of the main ingredients. You just wanna put a little bit on and let it marinate. You know how I say about every lip combo, they're better as they, like in 30 minutes, this will be the best that it will be. That little bit of shimmer. See how it brings it all together? Oh, it's the best. Okay, so I hope that made sense. I'm in no way trying to talk you into or out of lip filler. I personally do not think it's that big of a deal. If you do get it and you don't like it, like one time, this was the worst ever. And you guys, if you've been here, you remember. I thought that I could fill in like some of those lines right here. I had in my head that if maybe I put filler in there, it would make, really I needed, if I cared about it that much, I needed Botox. But I've learned don't get Botox there either because it will take away, especially me because I'm talking all the time, it takes away your true movement of your mouth. But, or you could get just a little teeny, teeny bit, maybe that. That time when I did get it there, it was terrible. It made me look like the lion on The Wizard of Oz. I hated it, I hated it. Oh gosh, I remember it was right at John's Christmas party. I had bruises, it was terrible. I hated it so much and I went and had it dissolved. And I swear that day that I had it dissolved was just a happy day. You can have it dissolved if you're not happy. But another thing I will tell you is I had someone write me that she had gotten under eye filler and that she hated it. Could she go get it dissolved? And I said, well, how long has it been? And this was like on maybe Friday and she said she had it done Wednesday. And I was like, oh my goodness, you're like almost supposed to hate it right now. It's not going to even come close to all your swelling going down probably for two weeks. And it you won't even want to go out of the house until probably Sunday. So you have to have the right expectations. And I just wanted to tell you these few things that I have learned through my past experience because when someone asked me about lip filler, I just feel like there's so much more to it than yeah, you know, you should do it. I hope that helped. I'm gonna do a quick casual outfit of the day. I found this dress in my closet. It's an old Zara dress. And I'm actually getting I washed my hair last night just because I wanted to take a shower so bad. And I don't know if you're like me, when I get in the shower, even if I don't need to wash my hair, I don't feel like I can take the best shower unless I wash my hair. Now, when I had extensions, I would just suck it up because I knew it wasn't worth it. So last night, I wanted to take a shower. I took a shower and I just let it kind of dry naturally. I actually wore it up overnight. And, um, but anyway, I'm getting my roots done today at three o'clock before Morgan goes out of town. So I'm doing that. And then I'm just wearing my Javiana flip-flops because I would like to get a pedicure if it works into today. Today is actually Sunday and I'm doing this video for tomorrow. So if you wonder, let me show you my outfit of the day anyway. Hey, it's just a tube dress and hey, she knew. <laughs> and these are the flip-flops and just another little tip I noticed today I probably should have kept it on so that I can show you but I went to put on this dress and I thought maybe I'll put on one of those band bras and this is something I've noticed before and then I put it on I was like good you know I noticed it was doing this because it was tight it was giving me this that skin that kind of goes over like that so just a little thing to watch out for. You know those bands are comfortable and they're better feeling than the true strapless bra. But if you notice that, kind of stay away from those, you know, bandy type bras like that. I would rather just put on a regular one that had the underwire. Or you can go like me and just go free. <laughs> so let's see. Um, earrings. I just have on these little Dean Davidson earrings. I try to wear either no earrings or something small when I go get my hair done. And I wore the matching ring. And because of this, I'm not wearing a necklace. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. And I'm so glad I thought about this. Two things. One, on Mondays when we do makeup, skincare, and things like this, do you guys like empties? 
I feel like that would fall in there, but are you tired of my empties? Because I feel like I show the same things over and over again, but it is kind of nice because you give reviews and you really do show what you used up. So let me know if you like empties. And what do we want to talk about on Wednesday, on Women or Wellness Wednesday? Do we want to talk about you know, something having to do with menopause, weight loss, or do we want to talk about something about how we feel and things like that? So if you have any ideas, put that down below. I could have asked you on Instagram, but I feel like this is my home and this is where most of you are. So I wanted you to let me know what you think and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye.